Hey there, Dingwall fans. One Take here, bringing you a demo of the Dingwall Super P Tone Fusion Control. I couldn't find these demos online myself, so I bought a Super P and I'm making one. I'm going to show you the different positions of the Tone Fusion Control, let you hear it through uh, all the different settings that it has, and you can see what you think. All right, first, the Super P. It's a Dingwall Super P. On this, you've got one split coil pickup, the volume control, and the tone fusion control. That's it. Very simple P-based setup. This particular instrument also has a jazz style Super P, Super J neck on it. Sorry. Um, so it's very thin. If you're sharp-eyed, you'll notice that. And this is an older Super P from maybe about 2010. It's new to me. I don't know if they've made any incremental improvements in the tone fusion control since then, but the basic idea has remained the same. So with this control, it's got two directions. Right in the middle, it's like a wide open P bass, like a P bass with the tone control all the way up. Um, in one direction, when you turn it, it acts, when you turn it counterclockwise, it, turn, it acts exactly like a P bass tone control. You dial off the high ends, you get more of the low end, and um, it's kind of like the tone control, the classic tone control you're used to on a P bass. In the other direction, it has a different thing going on, kind of a mid-cut thing that's better for finger style, slap, and it's kind of hard to describe. That's why I'm doing the demo. So let's hear it on some of these different settings. I'm going to start, um, first of all, uh, in the wide open P bass position. By the way, this P bass came with Tomastic infield flats on it, um, and I haven't changed them because, hey, P bass with flats. What more do you want? So, uh, and by the way, this thing on the end is just my Sennheiser uh, wireless thing. Actually, not Sennheiser. Yes, Sennheiser. Um, anyway, uh, everything I'm playing through is set flat, flat EQ control, no effects whatsoever. Um, Amp set totally flat, playing through a GR bass cabinet, which supposedly has a very flat response. So it's kind of a dry sound. It's not what I would use in a gig, but I wanted you to hear nothing but the Super P here. So here we go. Wide open P bass sound. <laughs> classic P bass sound. All right, I'm going to put it at my favorite setting about 30% of the way back in the counterclockwise direction, just like you're dialing back the tone control of a P bass. One complaint some people have had is since this is a two-way control, there's less travel from fully, wide, fully open to fully closed. But I haven't found that to be too big a deal because I'm kind of a set it and forget it kind of guy. So here we go with about 30% of the P-Bass tone dialed back. And if you turn it fully counterclockwise, you get that kind of thumpy, Motown-y, um, fully closed tone control P bass sound. to James Jamerson. All right, back to the wide open P bass sound. And so that was the tone direction. Now let's go the fusion direction. All right, I'm going to put it about 30, 40% of the way in the direction of the other direction and see how that sounds. Thank 
All right, and so you can tell it's a little bit like a less harsh P bass sound, but still with some extra bite to it. So now I'm going to go all the way in the clockwise direction, all the way in the fusion direction. And that's all the different settings. All right, I'm just gonna quickly run through these all with a pick, just so you can hear the difference. I'm gonna turn it back to the wide open P bass tone. Uh, and if I can find my pick, it's here in my pocket. Sorry for the crotch shot. Or you're welcome, if that's your thing. All right, here's pick wide open P bass sound. <laughs> Good rock sound. All right, P bass tone dialed all the way back with a pick. And let's go all the way in the other direction with the fusion direction completely dialed up. All right, now a little slap. Wide open P bass sound. Fully closed P bass sound. Apologies to Marcus Miller this time. All right, and in the med uh, the uh, fusion direction is probably more intended for slap. So flats are not really intended for slap, but what are you gonna do? I never know what to play in these demos. Anyway, that's it for the Dingwall Super P Tone Fusion Control. The end.